Let's talk about the Rangers. <laughs> uh, I'm a bit of a Lord of the Rings fan, if you couldn't tell. Let's start with the key arrivals. Now, this isn't nearly as sexy as it was last year, so to be forewarned. Um, let's begin with Kevin Rooney, a depth forward who was signed for two years at 750 k per. Uh, he plays uh, right wing, and he uh, can also do center. He's 27, 6 foot 290 pounds, spent his whole career with the Devils, and doesn't put up much points. He's somewhat defensively responsible. Next up, Jack Johnson. Why? Their left side was, you know, is their biggest, weakest point right now, and Jack Johnson just isn't going to do it. I mean, he, he'll play on the bottom pairing, you know, uh, they only signed him for one year. It'll be for $1.15 million, so it's not a big risk or anything. But still, you know, six foot one, 227 pounds. Uh, thick guy. Um, last season for the Penguins in 67 games, he had 11 points minus one. In the playoffs in four games, zero points. Uh, and he was a minus four. Mind you, Pittsburgh was ranked number nine or ten, I want to say, in the penalty kill department. He was a part of that. Um, the Rangers were ranked around the 23rd spot. Uh, if I would think if the Rangers see themselves close to a playoff spot, that's that left side is definitely a place where they can improve upon. He's more of a 7th, 8th guy, really, uh, at this point in his career. I'm sure he's a wonderful person, but um, yeah. Anyways, moving on. Um, another defenseman, Anthony Bieto, another uh, depth guy, two years at 738k per um, he's 30 years old, experienced guy, six foot one, 210 pounds, another thick boy. Uh, played most of his career with Nashville, uh, spent time with Minnesota, and lastly was in Winnipeg, where he played 51 games, eight points plus three. No playoffs. Um, next up, and lastly, uh, there's Keith Kincaid, who they signed as a third string goalie. Um, as you all know, he's six foot three, he's 31 now. Um, he'll be their third stringer, which I think is a really good pickup. Um, it's a two-year contract worth $825,000. He spent most of his career with the Devils, last year with Montreal, and in the AHL a bit. His numbers have been declining, I know, but maybe he'll have a bit of a bounce back. Uh, in four games in the AHL uh, with the Checkers, he was a 9-2-4. So, we'll see. Um, let's start talking about the key departures very quickly here. Jesper Fast, of course, the forward signed with the Carolina Hurricanes. Uh, Elias Anderson, um, you all remember there was a bit of a drama surrounding him. That forward uh, was traded to L.A. Mark Stahl, longtime Ranger, a left-shot defender, um, was in a salary dump, dump where he was traded to the Detroit Red Wings. Uh, and then there's Papa Bear, the King, Henrik Longfist. Um, he was bought out and signed with the Washington Capitals. I'm sure viewership will be through the roof if he starts for Washington um, against the Rangers next season. I can't wait to see that. I'm sure he'll, uh, Samsonov will really benefit from having him around, from you know, especially from a mental health sort of standpoint, uh, amongst other things. Um, now, let's talk about the players they re-signed, starting with Ryan Strom, um, who usually plays the second-line center, plays with Panarin a lot. Um, in 70 games last season, he had 18 goals, uh, 59 points, plus 21. The Panarin effect, yeah. In three playoff games, though, he only had two assists and was a minus three. Uh, if I didn't mention it already, um, they're paying him uh, two years for... Uh, $4.5 million. I think that's a fair deal. He's 27. He's um, from Ontario, 193 pounds. Next, um, let's talk about Brendan Lemieux, uh, another forward who they signed uh, to a two, two-year contract worth $1.55 million. Brendan takes a lot of penalties. I think that he's number one in the league for that. He's 24, six foot one, 213 pounds. He's from Colorado. Last season in 59 games, he had 18 points, minus 14, 111 penalty minutes. Uh, and only played one playoff game. He has room for improvement. Um, next up, let's talk about a defenseman. Uh, one of their biggest in uh, Anthony D'Angelo. Tony. He's 25. Um, just had a birthday in October. He's from New Jersey, 180 pounds, 5'11". Had a second breakout year um, in 68 games. 53 points plus 12 in three playoff games. One assist minus six. I think just that whole experience for the entire team, especially for their, all their young players, even though they got swept against the Hurricanes, was a positive thing. 
Um, it's just that some of the better players kind of came out flat, including D'Angelo and Panera and so on and so forth. Uh, but moving on here, um, Alexander Georgiev is the last guy I want to talk about that they re-signed. He's going to be their second stringer, of course. He was in the rumor mill the past couple of seasons. It's a good thing they kept him. Uh, he's 24 from Bulgaria, six foot one, 178 pounds. And um, he signed a two-year deal worth $2.425 million. Fair deal, um, absolutely. In 34 games uh, last season, he had a 9-10 save percentage. He was a 9-14 last, the season before that, and a 9-18 uh, in his first season. Uh, I think he's definitely got room to improve. Uh, he's a gooder, or a goodie. <laughs> um, now let's move on and let's talk about some rookies who could crack the lineup. Uh, Lafreniere, starting with him, the first rounder who fell on their lap, he's going to be in the lineup, right? Uh, question is, where exactly does he play? Most pundits think he'll be on that third line left wing spot um, with he with center with Heedle centering that line, uh, and maybe either Gauthier or the next guy I want to talk about in uh, Vitaly Kravtsov. Probably not saying that correctly. Uh, now Vitaly is their second overall ranked prospect. Um, he's 20 years old, six foot three, 183 pounds. He's from Russia, um, and he's played a ton in the KHL and internationally, of course. Uh, in the AHL uh, last season, in 39 games, he had uh, 15 points minus four. Nothing that jumps out at, at you too much, but the kid's got talent. He should crack the lineup. He'll be at training camp. Um, maybe he plays the third line right wing. He could be on the same line as Lafreniere. Uh, maybe he bump he bumps um, Gautier from that spot. Maybe Gautier plays uh, fourth line right wing. We'll see. And the last person I want to talk about rookie here is Condre Miller. He's a left shot defenseman, 20 years old. Um, he's our fourth ranked prospect, um, or was anyways. Six foot five, 210 pounds. Freaking wrestler. Big boy. Um, now, he uh, has played, been playing in the NCAA the past couple seasons. He kind of um, took a little bit of a step back this past season. Um, we'll see how he turns out in training camp. Uh, he should at least get a few cups of coffee with the team. Um, if not, he could go back to college or uh, maybe even play in the AHL. Um, so there you have it. Yeah, who are my profile picks for this team? Uh, best acquisition I'm going to give to Kincaid, having a third-string goaltender. There wasn't much to pick from here, folks. Uh, the sleeper here is Georgiev. I think he's got some bounce back left in him. He should bubble closer to around 9-13, 9-14 a season. Uh, the dark horse, um, I'm going to say, I'm going to cheat here a little bit. I've got a few players here. Condre Miller, um, Brendan Lemieux, he's got space to improve. And off the chart here for Kako, playing his sophomore season, he looked dangerous towards the end of that Carolina series. Uh, best bang for the buck, Tony D'Angelo, I think. Uh, and then you could also throw Georgiev in there somewhat. And then don't forget about Jack Johnson. If we could just not hear his name called during the game, I think a lot of Ranger fans will be happy. You know, just put his, you know, hard helmet on and do the PK and... Uh, yeah. In any case, how do I grade this team? Um, Offseason, that is. I'm going to give them a D. There's nothing really too much. I mean, it's mostly the re-signings here. Nothing too much in the arrival department. So I would love to hear from you uh, how you'd grade this team down in the comment section below, uh, especially you Ranger fans. Uh, is there anyone I'm forgetting you'd like to mention as well? And congratulations on making it to the end of the video. Why don't you celebrate by hitting that like and subscribe button and uh, that notification bell as well, which will notify you when my next video comes out, which will be about the LA Kings. Um, thank you so much. Uh, please be kind to each other out there in this crazy world we're living in right now. And I'll see you soon.